Good morning, everybody. It's about 5.30. We just got into the stand. It is opening morning here in Pennsylvania. On my way in, I bumped some deer out of the food plot. I honestly didn't think they'd be in here already, but they were. So, they definitely didn't smell me, which is good. That's going to be key. So, I'm going to sit back here and wait for daylight. sitting here and my tree stand seat just broke. I literally like just found the bottom of the tree stand here. So I guess uh we're standing there in the morning. Whew. Thank God this has a big platform where I could have fallen way down. Not a good start. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with the deer vlog. And don't forget, I respond to 99% of my comments. So leave a comment. So it's going on 8 o'clock now. I have not seen a deer. Which is really disappointing. That's the whole reason I came here. Typically, there's tons of doe here. There's normally a couple buck, but a lot of doe. I just wanted to see some. But I'm thinking, I wonder if these deer were in the food plot this morning as early as it were. Because they haven't been. It's like 7.30 almost every day they're in the food plot. I'm wondering if out at the edge of the property there's a tree stand that uh, the farmer's son hunts out of. I'm wondering if he's out there when he came in this morning. It bumped the deer in and pushed their schedule forward. It, it wouldn't surprise me. So I'm gonna work on getting all this stuff down. I'll see you guys on the ground. Well, it's been pretty quiet on this card. I was in here Wednesday. Check it in. I was here Tuesday, and they were coming in here like every single morning. So, needless to say, we won't be out of here tonight. We're gonna go to a different property. So I will see you guys this afternoon. Well, we just got to our afternoon spot. Already seen one deer in these soybeans I'm walking through. We got a long walk ahead of us to get to where I want to hunt. So I'm going to put the camera down. Try not to get too, too sweated walking in. And I will see you guys in the tree stand. Well, we just got into the stand. Two weeks ago, the farmer was in here and sprayed this field with Roundup. Killed everything. It is incredibly noisy to walk through. My allergies are also through the roof right now. I've been sneezing my head off. So I need to hear that I already didn't spook walking in. They have now heard me sneezing. So it is, it's got to be 3.30. It's almost 4 o'clock. We got plenty of time here. And I chose this stand. This is like an observation stand. I just want to sit here tonight and see what comes out where. And just get a feel for how these deer are moving right now. The low tonight is supposed to get to like 40. I really think these deer are going to be up and moving, feeding. I don't know if they're going to be feeding on this dead grass or not, but they got to be feeding on something at some point, so I'm just going to sit back, cool 
down a little bit. I got sweated walking in here. And uh, see what comes out where.
What's going on everybody? Welcome to episode two of the Deer Vlog. It's Wednesday, September 30th, I think. So we're slipping into the stand right now. We're, uh, we're gonna hunt the stand that we hunted uh, a week and a half ago, watching over this big field. I just wanna get a better feel for how these deer are coming out getting into these soybeans so that's the plan I also want to let you guys know you pressured me in to getting a safety harness so I ended up getting the muddy muddy ambush I do believe and uh, I like it it's really nice so thank you to all you people who told me to wear a safety harness when I'm in the tree so I'm going to keep working my way up to the tree stand here and uh, I'll talk to you guys once we get into the tree well just got up into the tree and uh, it looks like I forgot the strap that goes onto the tree to hold myself into the tree in case I fall out so what I ended up doing was I got myself attached to the camera arm it's better than nothing. I think I left the strap at home. I feel like a dummy for doing that, but... Oh, well. So, yeah, I don't even know what time of day it is. It's almost four o'clock. So we have like three hours to sit here, see what comes out where, hopefully see some action tonight. I really, I like this stand to be able to observe what's moving where. And uh, that's, that's what we're doing tonight. We just wanna see what's moving around here and what, how they're traveling through this field. Because as I said in the previous video, the farmer sprayed all these fields back here like a week before the season started. And I bet you back here would have been freaking awesome had he not sprayed it. Because he was getting thick and tall. But. <coughs> so. I'm going to get the bow up. Just got 
my boys. It's looking like uh, not gonna have anything happen tonight. <clears throat> So, um, it's quit done. I'm gonna wrap stuff up, put stuff away. This isn't the end of the video. I'm gonna continue the video into the next time I go hunting, which will be Friday, one day from now. So, I will see you guys then. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Um, what's today's date? Today is October 2nd. It's October already. Wow. So we just got down to the what I call the old nursery property, and uh, we're gonna hunt here tonight. I might shoot a doe tonight if I get a chance at a good, good sized doe. I might take that shot. I haven't shot a doe with my bow yet, or actually, I haven't shot a deer with my bow yet. But hopefully, that changes this year. So I'm gonna walk in here. I gotta walk through a bedding area. I almost always kick deer up out of here. But it's, it's the only way to get to the tree stand, so I'm going to shut up, and I will see you guys in the tree. Well, I didn't get the bow up yet, but just got settled in. Got the strap tonight for the tree stand harness, so feeling uh, feeling safe. So I might get the bow up, get it hung up here, and uh, enjoy my sit. There's no 
the way they smelled me. I just don't believe that. Well, there's one way to find out. I got some milkweed. What's up everybody? Welcome to the opening day of archery, the statewide opening day of archery. I've been hunting archery for two weeks now, but today is like, it's, it's the official beginning of the archery season. So what I want to go hunt tonight is a soybean field. I don't know if we're going to hunt on the ground, I don't know if we're hunting in a tree stand. There's an old tree stand out here that nobody knows whose it is. You know, it's a big mystery. Nobody, like I said, no one knows whose it is. So, I might go hunting there tonight. It's not real high off the ground, if I remember correctly. And, uh, hopefully we see some stuff. My, uh, my cell cam's been picking up deer out there, almost right in front of the, where this tree stand is. So, should be a good night. I'm excited. Didn't go out this morning, though, because I was doing some scouting. I did see a, uh, I did get a really nice buck on camera. I'll put him up over here. Um, some rubs, some, found some good trails. So, I'm really excited about the season. Let's get after it. I'm gonna go try to slip into this tree stand without bumping any deer out. Well, if you can't tell, I'm not up in a tree. The tree uh, that I wanted to hunt is right next to me. And, uh, there's no ladder or climber or anything to get into the tree. And that's a problem. So, we're gonna sit next to it on the ground. It sounds like somebody's chopping wood up in front of me, which isn't good. With like a chipper. Almost every night I have deer feeding right through in front of me here. I can't tell what they are because the camera's, you know, 40 yards away. Can't make out what they are, but I'm not, uh, I'm not really like a ground hunter. You guys who have been subscribed for a while know 99% of the time I'm up in a tree. So this is, uh, this is a learning curve for me, to, for me tonight. So I am going to try to get settled in here. I'm guessing I'm, I probably shouldn't sit on my butt at all, right? I don't know. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes down on the ground, so I'm gonna knock an arrow. Let's just hope for the best tonight. I'm confident we're gonna see deer.
very surprised that those bucks were up and on their feet this early. That buck came in within 15 yards. I'm glad though I let him pass. I'd like to see him next year. It'd be great to see that he makes it. So that was I got the old heart pumping guys. Oh, yeah. Just caught up in the tree. We're hunting out of uh, the dump stand, as I call it tonight. I haven't hunted this stand in a long time, so hopefully we see some stuff tonight. Um, last night I was out in the field here, and there was some deer around, but nothing, nothing right on the bow, you know. Um, it's a Friday night, and uh, if I get a chance, I'll shoot a doe tonight. It's like three o'clock, so I'm gonna sit back, try not to fall asleep, and uh, hopefully we have a good night.
Time he was here, he put it at chest height. I would have bet it was too high. Two hundred and five pictures, apparently. Can't wait to see this. Well, I checked the camera. There's nothing on it since my dad moved it. I had it on this tree, which now has a giant rub on it. Rub. Big rub. I mean, there's my hand for comparison. That's a uh, that's a big rub. Now I'm not saying a big buck made that rub. I know spikes can rub on that too. Saturday morning, October 17th. We have about like 10 minutes before legal light. I slipped into the stand way late. I didn't bump anything out of the food plot. <clears throat> so hopefully these deer are still going to be working their way in from the, uh, the cornfields. Coming into our food plot and then going to bedding. That's the game plan. We had a massive cold front move through yesterday. So hopefully today is going to be a really good deer movement day. So I will see you guys when it gets a little lighter.
Got something a little different going on today. We're out. I just bought a muzzle loader from Monday. It's Wednesday. Yesterday, shot it about 10 times, sighted it in. We're gonna try to hunt public land with it tonight. See if we can't put down our first year with uh, the old muzzle loader. We're on a piece of public that I used to have permission to hunt when it was private. It's a giant mountain. And uh, we're gonna go hunt some private land. Well, we're gonna go hunt real close to some private land where they're standing corn. Obviously, I can only shoot a doe from the map I was looking at. It looks like there's a bunch of walking trails on here now. And I pretty much parked at a campsite. So I've never accessed, I always go to the other parking lot because it's bigger. But there's nobody here. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, right up here's the power line. So yeah, years ago, when this was private, my dad had permission to hunt it. And I remember coming here as a kid with him, and it was just packed full of deer. Obviously, it's not packed with deer anymore, because it'd be in public, but there's still, there's still a, a lot of deer in the area. I actually shot my first ever public land deer here. First deer I ever got on film, I do believe. Uh, I'll link that in the description. It's not nearly as good as these videos I make now, but if you guys want to check that out, I'll link it for you. So I'm shooting Hornady SST uh, Sabos, 250 grain. Obviously, this is a 50 cal rifle. So there's what I'm shooting. Drop that in there. Put a little starter in here. Get her going. Now, hopefully, I'm only gonna need one shot because loading these things kind of sucks. I'm gonna pop my primer in. We're ready to hunt. So my plan is I want to walk out this power line. The wind is like very ever so slightly blowing south. Um, I don't know if I want to drop down and try to hunt there or if I want to go up and hunt facing up. I guess we'll see when we get there what, uh, what it looks like out there. I haven't been down here in probably 10, 12 years. So bugs are bad, man. So I'm just gonna sneak my way through this power line. I mean, they might be in this power line, but uh, I, mean, I kind of doubt it, it being like a walking trail. So, gonna get out there and uh, see if we can't put a doe down tonight. Well, I just got to where I thought I was gonna sit and there's a ladder stand here. Um, I don't exactly know like what proper etiquette is, but Someone's gotta stand here. They can hunt there over me, it's fine. So, I guess we gotta go up the mountain. So, not looking too forward to that because it's hot. It's gotta be pushing 73, 74 degrees. But, right down there. Right there is the guy's ladder stand. It's a good spot too. There's a blind out this way. And that blind I think is overlooking the cornfield. Yeah, right there. I'm sure those deer are gonna end up going to that cornfield at some point tonight. So I'm gonna get out my phone, look at ONX and just try to try to figure a plan out. I'm kinda of flying flying off the seat of my pants right now. One hell of a V 
view. That's for sure. You guys see all these bugs? I don't know if you can see all these bugs, but holy crap. I got a couple hundred just flying around me right now. They're driving me nuts. Crazy how many bugs are here. Hey, hey, hey. I'm like right up against the, the property line right now. But years ago, this was not here. I'm on like a trail. Like you can see it behind me. I just stopped to get a drink and cool off a little bit because I'm sweating so bad. But yeah, this was never like this. Wash these clothes. They're all wet from sweating. But I think what I'd like to do is go up a little further. It's actually some private land uh, that a friend of ours owns. And, uh, I know they hug his property a lot. All right, let's go up the hill a little bit. Oh, I think I found where I'm gonna sit for the night. Oh, I got a big hole. But I, yeah, a big old oak tree behind me. I mean, it's huge. And uh, where I'm positioned is like um, essentially there's private land right there behind me. Probably like 50 yards away, and then everything on this side of me is all public. Now, I don't know where to expect the deer to come from. I just know a couple of times I hunted our friend's property, which is right there. Um, they would come from this corner here and slow down. So, don't know what to expect for tonight. Obviously, you guys who are subscribed know I am not much of a public land hunter. I very rarely do it for deer, just because of how many people there normally are. Um, but I was only guarding the parking lot when I got here. And I also don't see any tree stands, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to sit back and try to cool down because I am hot. I have way too much on, and I barely have anything on as it is. I probably shouldn't have been walking around with this on. Should have just been walking around in my work shirt. Looks like that wind's coming right in my face, which that's gonna work out perfectly for us. If anything were to funnel out through here and onto the private land, well, if I see anything, I'll keep you guys posted. Sí. 
still on my way back to the truck. Because I got like a 20 minute walk back to the truck, so. Try to uh, catch any deer that might be moving in between that power line. Plus, I can walk real quiet on that trail because it's all grass. They'll never hear me. It's about 6:10. Um, I haven't heard anything moving around me, and uh, <clears throat> the wind has now shifted. It's at my back, rolling down the hill. Obviously that's not good because I'm facing down the hill. So I'm gonna get my stuff. I'm gonna get my stuff together and just slowly work my way down the hill. Start working my way back towards the truck. Oh, I just made it down off the mountain here. And now I'm back on that power line. So I'm just gonna real slow work my way back to the truck. I have oh, probably three quarters of a mile to get back to the truck. So I'm not in a big rush. I can cover that at this pace, I think, before it gets too dark to film. I at least like to get to see something. At this point, you know, I don't really care if I get something. But seeing them is still fun. So. Give it my best shot for public land. But I wanted to try it. Like I said, I know this land pretty well. I felt like I had a, a leg up, but who knows how much pressure. What's going on, everybody? Ooh, spider webs. So, we're down here on the ba -ba -ba old nursery property. And uh, we're gonna hunt a ground blind tonight. I know you guys can see my work shirt through this camo, but it's like 77 degrees. So I'm really just trying to not sweat my butt off. We're gonna sit in a ground blind tonight over the food plot. It's a little closer. Um, it should give us an opportunity if a deer comes out, better than what the tree stand gave us. I didn't even put camo pants on. It feels kind of weird walking into the woods in my work pants, but kind of given like minimum effort tonight. With being in the ground blind, my sense should be a little bit more controlled. Uh, obviously, they're not gonna be able to see my pants, so. Once we get to the ground blind, I gotta find a chair that's in the woods. I'll see you guys in the ground blind. I just got into the ground blind. And uh, I've sweat my ass off in here, it's like a sauna. So, I couldn't find the chair. It's hot as balls out. It's gonna be a rough night, guys, I can already tell. sat on it last year. My game plan is to stay low. Every 10, 15 minutes pop up. It's about all I can do tonight. I wasn't planning on hunting here, but it's so hot. I didn't want to get all sweated up. Even a log, a log would be nice to sit on, just something to sit on.
field and uh, I don't have permission on the field but obviously it doesn't hurt to look at it <coughs> uh, pretty sure it's just a doe I don't know obviously if that doe is with the group of doe that I've seen because I've seen about 8 doe working their way out this way not 100% sure if that's one of them I've seen. It's impossible to tell, but there's got to be more out in this green field. Well, boys, I'm calling it for the day. A little early, but. It's just too hot for me. This is ridiculous hunting in what I'm hunting in. Green, lime green shirt. Blue, well, blue work pants. It's ridiculous. So, tomorrow's supposed to be warm and then it looks like it's gonna cool off for a while. I have one more week and then my rutcation starts. I have a full week off for the rut this year. So, I'm going to be out tomorrow filming again, and uh, I don't know, it's supposed to be a little warm yet tomorrow, so we'll see. If you guys haven't already, please leave a like down below, it helps these videos reach more people. And don't forget to leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, tell me what I did wrong, tell me what I can do better, I always appreciate it, I love talking to you guys. So, I'm going to head out of here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, I wanted to go hunting today, but we had this misty bullcrap all day long, and it's still kind of doing it, just definitely not as bad. The problem is... It's not even the rain now, it's the wind. So right now the wind is just ever so slightly out of the north. That's supposed to be out of the east, followed by out of the south. So you can see why that would be a problem because it's just gonna be shifting and shifting and shifting. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's gonna be, a, it's just gonna be a huge issue. So with that being said, my plan for today is gonna be just to do some scouting um, what I call in-season scouting. You can do all the summer scouting that you want, and I highly encourage doing it, but fall is a different breed. The deer are not in their summer patterns anymore, and if you can find a fresh scrape or some really fresh sign, I always try to hunt over it as soon as I can. Um, so we're gonna take a camera with us. I'm just gonna scoot through the woods real quick. Uh, just look to see if there's any fresh rubs, fresh scrapes. I got two cameras on this property to check and I want to go down to the other property and check out my camera that I have in there. And I also made a mock scrape right in front of the camera. So I want to see if that's been freshened up, walked in, anything. These deer are starting to move in daylight. These big bucks are just starting to move in daylight. Saturday we had a cold front push through. Sunday I was getting pictures of deer almost all day long on my cam on my cellular cameras. It's 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 happening. I have off all next week, uh, essentially from the first of November till the seventh of November. That's it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Things are really starting to heat up as far as the rut goes. So this week they'll be chasing. You know you'll you'll start seeing deer chasing. Next week though. Um, it's going to be even better. So I want to get ready for that by doing an in-season scout and see if we can't find any really fresh sign, any fresh scrapes or anything like that. I'm obviously, I'm going to take a bow with me just on the off chance, you know, you never know. I don't want to be without a bow. So, all right, let's go check these cameras. There's 
some dough, but <clears throat> that's it. I thought for sure <clears throat> there'd be a buck on that camera, but there's not. I'm just gonna walk down here a little bit to this corner, see if there's any fresh scrapes. And uh, I'm gonna walk up the field edge here all the way over on the other side is a camera I'm gonna check that one too see if anything's been up there just found a really fresh screen uh, I'm gonna try putting a camera on right there that's super fresh probably last night right there's no leaves in it or anything Just got to my second camera. Hopefully something good's on this one. Whew. It's very humid today. It's very weird. Nothing on that camera for, I don't know, the past week. So I turned it off, turned it back on. Uh, I undid the batteries out of it. I was essentially trying to reset it. That just doesn't make any sense. I mean, None, none at all. So I also moved it just a little bit uh, down. I think it was up too high. So I, I don't know what's going on with that camera. Glad we got a little bit of excitement with that little buck uh, cruising by. I mean, if the wind wasn't swirling tonight for what they're calling for, I'd, go, I'd hunt, but the swirling wind just... I don't think it's I don't think it's worth it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment. I, I'd like to know. You know, I do learn from you guys. Believe it or not, I mean, I got my safety harness on today, and I ain't even planning on climbing any trees. That's my level of commitment to safety. So. Um, I'm gonna work my way back to the truck and we'll go head down to uh, the old nursery property. Check that one camera I have down there. Um, I've hunted the tree stand where the camera's at like three times now. I've yet to see a deer in it, but I always get pictures of deer. Um, and since I put that mock scrape in, I'm really willing to bet that uh, something had to have been in there and hit it or I don't know. Only one way to know and that's to go check so that's what we're going to do. Alright everybody we just got down to the old nursery property. Um, just want to try to sneak in, check my camera and uh, just see if that scrape that I made has been hit at all. 
we might run into some deer walking in. Would not surprise me one bit. So, hopefully I can at least film them for you guys. And maybe if it's a big buck, get a shot. see his balls. <laughs> That's a button buck. I don't know what that deer's doing. Spooked about something, I guess. moving today. Well, it seems as though this morning is going to be a slow day. It's going on 8.30 and I've been grunting. I've been dough bleeding. I set off a little bit of a buck bomb, just figuring like, you know, these bucks should be cruising on a day like today, and they're not, at least not here, and at least not in front of any of my cameras that I know of. I have two cellulars on the property. They have not gone off all morning. So I might give it probably like 20 more minutes, and then I gotta go to work. Uh, Trump's coming in today. 
into my city that I live in. And, uh, we're trying to keep people off our property, parking and stuff. It's not every day you get to, uh, watch a president fly in. Alrighty, boys. I am trying to hightail it into the tree right now. The Trump rally ran a little late. He only like just landed. It's uh, four o'clock. I wanted to be in the stand by like three and I'm only getting to the woods at four. So I'm late, I'm so late. I think I'm gonna hunt my double tree stand at night. Um, there's only one thing that might be an issue is hanging this damn camera arm on it. I don't know how that's gonna go. So, as you can tell, like I am trying to get in the damn tree. It's freaking Halloween, I'm not out hunting. Well, tonight's not going good. I thought I was gonna get up in this tree stand. Cause my dad, I could sworn he said he's been hunting out of it. But it's still, as you can tell, right there, it's still all cut open. I thought, I could have sworn my dad told me he came in and fixed it, but. <sighs> Crap. So now we gotta try to get to the tree stand I guess we were in this morning. I didn't bring a tree stand with me. Oh. <sighs> Not good. Oh, I just made it into the stand. <clears throat>
see if there was another deer in there. But I'm trying to watch so many deer at the same time. I couldn't keep track of where they all were. I don't think they really went anywhere. But I could be wrong, who knows? But that doe was big. I was hoping she was gonna keep going. And she would have been like five yards from the stand. If she would have just kept walking down the hill before she, uh, I don't know, I don't know if she saw me, smelled me. I don't know. But hey, we're getting excitement. I'm happy about it. Is that something about the election? Uh, you saw my face. Like, I was like, oh, wait. Actually, I can barely see your face. Your room is not... That was a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting to see a buck on my way home. Uh, it would not surprise me if that doe is in heat. And, uh, looked like, uh, looked like that buck had, had her pretty well locked down. But if she's in heat, the wind was coming over her back and blowing essentially right back to where we were sitting. I mean, you're talking probably a mile away, but don't think for a second that these deer can't smell that. Uh, I'm going to go home for a little bit, try to warm up. This wind is just whipping. It's ridiculous out here. Uh, I'm going to try to come up with a plan for later today, I guess. We are back. It's like 12.15 I think, 12.30. Just got to the lower 40 farm. And uh, my dad's, he just left and went into the sleeper spot. We're gonna go down towards the creek behind me here. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what to expect. Let's just go where other people ain't going. See what happens. Um, yeah, so we got a little bit of a haul to get in there. It's probably a half mile to get to where I want to go so that should be fun with all the gear but all right let's go see what we what we can get ourselves into today just got into the stand As I 
stand for like 10 minutes. <laughs> that was, that was cool. That worked out perfectly. <clears throat> right? I could smell that bug. That's how close he got. That is nuts. The only problem that's going to happen is if, if, a, if a shooter bug does that, I have no room to pull the bow back. That would have been a chip shot. That's a big bug. 
Give you, I gotta get three of these right. Good morning, everybody. This is day two of rutcation. We're gonna be doing things a little different today. They're going for 50 mile per hour winds today. And I, I just don't know about being in the woods with wind whipping like that. Just real nervous about it. My plan was, I'm at the Big E property right now. I'm parked here watching a field. I just kind of figured, stay safe and uh, I can watch this field and uh, at least get a feel for what's happening around here. I don't have to really worry about getting hurt or anything like that. That's my plan. It's like, we got 45 minutes before it gets light, so it's going to be a while before anything uh, happens or we see anything, but I was not feeling comfortable sitting in a tree today or even being in the woods. I, of course, wasn't going to miss hunting, you know, or at least, you know, being able to see something happen. So that's my plan for right now. If we see bucks chasing through the field or something, probably going to change the plan quite a bit. But just, personally, I just figured this is going to be a whole lot safer than rocking around in a damn tree all freaking day. So my dad was brave enough. He's out in the woods. But and of course, it's only supposed to get worse, which sucks. But got to got to do things safe. Gotta, gotta, gotta stay safe. So, I'm just gonna hold tight. We're just gonna kinda fly off the seat of our pants. See what happens out here. I think we got a hot doe on another property. There was like, I don't know, three, three or four bucks all coming through an area right around the same time. A lot of the time that would indicate that there is a hot doe in the area. I'm looking at the pictures right now and it looks like I'm going to put them up on the screen for you guys. A big, that's a buck I would shoot at 3. Another buck at 3.06. A couple minutes ago, a doe came through at 5.06. And she milled around for a little bit. So, I really think that there might be a, a hot doe down there. So, I'm going to keep my eyes on that. We can always take a run down there and go hunt down there. Worst case scenario, so. All right, I'm gonna stop jabbering. Let's see what happens today. As you guys can tell, it is still whipping out there. The truck has been rocking, believe it or not. So, I, I just, I can't believe how stinking windy it is. It sucks. This is gonna be the coldest morning that we have to hunt. I'm just worried about branches falling on me being in the woods especially where i'm at when when it gets windy it gets extra windy here for whatever reason it just always seems to go hand in hand so it's been a uh, legal shooting time here for about 10 minutes i haven't seen anything working the fields i imagine at some point i should get into the woods somewhere and actually do some hunting I was thinking about going to uh, the old nursery property and slipping into the ground blind. I don't even know if the ground blind's gonna be there after this. The one good thing <sighs> about, oh God. The one good thing about this wind is you know where your scent's going. It's all getting pushed really, really hard today. <sighs> so I'm gonna sit here probably for another hour. If we don't see anything, I think it might be a good idea to do some like road scouting, kind of like drive around, see what's moving, get a feel for uh, the areas we have to hunt. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go, here we go, here we go. Worth it, totally worth it. There goes four doe, five doe, six doe. Where's the buck? Come on, there's got to be a buck coming. Something pushed them too. Oh. I would be absolutely shocked to not see a buck pushing these deer around. 
Something certainly did, because they were running when I first seen them. The old nursery property camera just went off. That is a tank of a buck. God damn. That thing is ridiculous. Golly. Should have went down there. Well, it looks like we're going to go try to make a run down to the old nursery property. Um, I think I'm going to use the crossbow, try to slip into that ground blind, and uh, do our best to not spook that buck. So that's the great thing about these cellular cameras. Being able to move on the fly like this. So, I'm going to leave my dad here. I'm going to go head down to the old nursery property. It's going to take like 20 minutes to get there, but it seems like there's a lot of bucks cruising down there, so I think it's going to be a good move. <clears throat> Just got down here to the old nursery property. Wind is perfect today. Out of the west. So when we walk our way in, deer shouldn't smell us, um, unless they're around the pond. So, camera hasn't gone off yet, again. So, hopefully we can slip into this ground blind undetected. Well, this is what I was afraid of. Ground blind got flipped overnight, and it's on its side. So I gotta try to get this thing upright. Hopefully it doesn't keep blowing away. <sighs> Damn. spent the afternoon driving around other properties we can hunt didn't see any deer out chasing so I'm back here on the uh, old nursery property I have no idea where I'm going uh, I have another camera that I'd like to get to check uh, if there's good sign or good pictures on that camera we're gonna hunt there if not we're gonna go back over to the food plot and we're gonna hunt there for the evening and uh, tomorrow's another day. This wind absolutely sucks. Well, I just got to the camera right there. My SD card reader will not read the damn card. I even tried putting it inside of you guys. Won't read. I'm just gonna hunt. I'm just gonna go sit and hunt. Well, I just got into the stand <clears throat> an hour later since the last time I talked to you guys. It's now one o'clock. I don't know what to expect for tonight. Cause I couldn't check that camera, so kinda just guessing I guess. Let's get more. 
worse. Had a big log fall off of the tree out in right down there. It's just not worth it. As badly as I want to be out, it's not worth it. So I'm going home. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
I'm thinking about getting down and all of a sudden there's deer. Alrighty guys, we're down on the Big E property. Had a little lunch. Got a shifty ass wind tonight. West, south, southwest. So, figured rather than going down that way because the wind's coming this way, I'm just gonna go to this northern uh, stand we got sit there for the night so yeah, getting in here is going to be a little difficult because everything's so crunchy it's really crunchy out here so I'm going to put out a little scent and uh, let's hope for the best these bucks got to be up and looking for receptive does soon so we'll see what happens
nothing else she can do. Right? I mean, she didn't snore, but... Well, I might as well make some noise since it's evident that they're on their feet chasing.
I heard him fall. <laughs> yeah! It has to be the buck that I just seen, Dad. It has to be. Like eight points? Yeah, it has to be the one I just seen. Hopefully I got I'm with that. I heard, I heard you shoot and I heard the commotion. I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna go back to the truck. All right, you okay. want to come down to me? We'll take care of mine first. Unbelievable day, buddy. <laughs> Unbelievable day. Well, I'm going to get down. We're going to take care of my deer first. And then, that way, my dad's deer has plenty of time to expire. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I I heard, I, I heard noise over where he is. And I'm thinking... 
well, that was weird. And I heard a whole bunch of, like, you know, commotion in the woods. I was like, all right, that was really weird. And no sooner did that happen, my phone rang, and it was him. So, I'm going to get down. Um, I guess I don't, need, I don't even know if I have a pen. So that could be a problem. Because legally, you're not allowed to move the deer until you have a pen. So, alright, I'll see you guys on the ground. So, just for reference, that's the tree I was in. Right about, right about there, right in the middle of the screen. Alright, here's the arrow. Or the bolt. Buried. Looks like good wood. Did you get him? Did you get him? I didn't even go look at you. Find your arrow. Yes. Good blood. I covered in blood. Good. So oh. is mine. Oh, well, you already found it. Are you ready? Well, I just found the arrow. The deer's laying out there. Yeah, that deer, that buck went in like, right over there. Here. Did you get him on video? Oh, that brush is in the way. And the camera wanted to focus on the brush and not on him. But he went in there and I grunted and he looked at me. And then I snort wheezed and I thought that's going to get him. But it didn't. He just right in there. He must have went all the way around and all the way up to you. What was it? You said like 10 yards? Close. Close. He knew something was up. He did not stay on the same trail. He, he, he broke off the trail and he knew, he looked right up at me, he knew something wasn't right. And it's all I could do to get him into the scope. And, I knew it was like 10 it was close yeah I waited till he gave me a, a, a decent shot it was gonna be a kill shot I didn't want to yeah I had a shot at him right in the brisket and I won't do that yeah all right well it's no wonder the deer see me so easy that's why I was just saying to everybody it's no wonder the deer see me because I stick out like a sore thumb, but she's right over here. A decent buck, though. Yeah, if it's the same one I saw, I was gonna shoot him. Ten. Yeah. Big doe. Almost broke her. Other lungs. Where did he go?
that way? Or can you go this way? I got blood over here too. You guys got blood this way. He's spraying. He's spraying. seen this morning. Who would have thought 70 degrees today? Dude, he is a freaking brewing. I mean, he got a big body on him. That's a three-year-old deer. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. I think someone hit him. I think he's been shot in no man's land. Recently. That looks like a hit. I hope he's not all infected. Well, after a dismal morning to say the least, went out, got some lunch, had a drink. <sighs> struggling. It's plain and simple, struggling. So, I'm kind of changing my tactics a little bit tonight. And what I'm thinking about doing is. I know these doe are using these trails down here in the corner of the property and coming out. It seems like every night they're coming out. This time of year, more often than not, if you find the doe, there's a good chance you're going to find some buck. So that's that's pretty much my plan. I'm just going to hunt where the doe have been coming in and out of. Um, I've I've seen them come in and out of it from the upper stand. My dad's seen them go in there this morning. 
Um, they're constantly, they like this quarter down here for, for whatever reason. So, the only problem is, I have a feeling they might be bedded really close to the edge of the field. And we're going to have to just slip in quiet as a mouse and get up a tree. But I, it's doable. I've done it before. The wind's actually perfect for it. The wind's going to be blown from the tree stand back over to the truck. So if they come out of the corner and go up, they seem to be coming out of the corner and coming up through this field and going up here. Uh, should work out my favor perfectly. Hopefully they have a buck trailing them. That's the plan. We're going to get mentally ready. It's been a rough week, guys. Damn rough week. Seeing bucks, but they're always too far away. Seems to be the trend this week. Too far away. Day late and dollar short. So, I'm going to get the rest of the stuff together. And then, uh, make the trek in. So, down there is the corner of the field. We're going to be right up there. This deer should come towards us, hopefully giving somewhat of a close shot.
Well, before we get into this video, guys, I just wanted to say I am sorry. Uh, I lost half of my footage from this video. Um, I did what I could to make it whole. Um, thankfully, it, it saved the, the most important parts. Um, and the only way I could get it back was by uh, buying some software that got half of the footage back thankfully so leave a like share with your friends and uh yeah enjoy i know uh it's an exciting one morning everybody <clears throat>
ended up, I grunted, and then I gave him one snore wheeze, and then he turned around real quick and came in. Probably 30 yard shot. Now, if he would have gotten much closer, a nice easy shot, maybe. But I know there's bigger bucks around. It's good to know they're on their feet, though. Right. <laughs> Thank you. 
this morning. Well, I ended up running home. I left all my camera gear here. And uh, I'm thinking I can fix that SD card. So, that's good. Sounds as though the farmer's out there. I don't know. I don't know what happened with that shot. I mean, obviously, I hit a damn branch. But I now have no confidence in my own bow. Again, this is the same thing that happened to me last year.
finally got some time to talk to you guys. What a crazy morning. I saw eight different bugs today. All of them were either a button bug or a spike. But the future for this property is looking good, guys. Right? Three years from now, you're going to have a lot of buck running around, provided they make it. Because they got hunters, coyotes, cars, right? The odds are stacked against all those deer make it, but... Whew-wee. It would be great if they did. Oh, I got a little deer sneaking up on me.
watched him fall, baby. He's down. He's down. He's down. <sighs> Hello? I freaking smoked him. He's down. No, he's not. He's down. No, he's not. Dad, he's, he's down. Get your gut down here. I smoked him. He's down. He he's behind the bulldozer. I watched him fall. All right. Yeah. He got him. Yes. Oh my got god. It on video. I got it all on video. I'll, I'll be down. Oh, yeah. Don't move. Don't okay. don't do anything. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye. 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 I'm sitting here and it's freaking windy, guys. I mean, windy. I mean, there's times I'm holding on to my bow just so it's not like slamming up against a tree. And it's just starting to like die down. And I said to myself, ah, oh, you know what? I'm gonna grunt. I'm just gonna send out like four or five grunts just to see what happens. And this spike buck comes in off to my right over here. So I'm filming him. I've seen him three, four times now. Big body on the thing. And, you know, I'm filming him. He's coming along here. And out of the corner of my eye, I see the buck from Saturday come out. And it, it's, it was like he was going to go to the same exact spot that he went to. On Saturday when I shot him. I stopped him before that. I wasn't going to let it happen. And I said, no, it's not happening. I'm not going to let you get into that opening again. And I'm not hitting that damn branch. I'm getting my redemption. Oh, so I'm going to get my stuff wrapped up here. My dad told me to stay, but I can't stay. That is a great buck, guys. A great freaking buck. Oh, I mean... He had to have been 30, 35 maybe. He was like right there. 33 yards. I, I, I wouldn't be able to shoot that with my compound. I just, I don't, I think 40 yards is too far uh, for my compound. I'm just not comfortable doing it. That's why I was using the crossbow, just for that extra range. Let's get down here. not have a big body but his rack is really nice smoked him baby I smoked him I love you guys oh my god he is not a big body on this thing really I mean let's make sure he's a buck okay he's a buck I figured I might as well make sure but he's a good buck Solid eight. Oh man, I wasn't letting him go. That's a good buck. But man, that body is small. It's weird. Man, you couldn't ask for a better shot. I was a little forward really, but man. Oh man, I can't wait for my son to get here. Alright. I'm just gonna let the deer here. Cause I don't actually have my license on me right now. I can't legally move him. I didn't see my arrow anywhere. Pretty sure I, I saw it sticking out of him. 
when he ran away, there's like, there's no blood. some bone there. Lungs and heart, baby. Lungs and heart. All the ups and downs this year. Missed that same buck on Saturday. I mean, literally, I think he was standing pretty good opening on him. It wasn't that far. I want to say he was about right here. Right over there is the tree I'm in. Right there's my tree stand. Now, where I shot at him Saturday was literally, now I'm not, I'm not cutting this or anything, I shot him Saturday was right here 10 or 15 yards away that was it this is where right here is where I shot at him Saturday there's the tree right over there is where I killed him man I put a hurting on him too he only went Probably 30, 40 yards, but, oh man. Like I said though, his body is quite small. They don't really understand that fully. But, maybe he's just a young deer with good genetics? I don't know. Around here, that's like a, a three-year-old deer. So, I guess I can go back to the truck. I don't know. I know I need a knife, so I, I do have to go back. I, I gotta go back to the truck. I don't have a knife on me, so. Man. What do you think of that? Oh, Mom. Mom? Oh, that's a buck. No, I'm your mom. You want to call mom? Mm -hmm. All right, go check it out, buddy. I'm not going to do that. Go ahead. I'm mom. I'm mom. I'm mom. Mom? I'm your mom. Is that his foot? No, I got me. Oh. Well, boys, archery season is in the books. Yet again, another year of not shooting a buck in rifle season. Uh, I don't know how I keep doing that. It just seems, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, really. Feels weird. Feels weird to be done. But now, since I have the whole week off of Thanksgiving, I don't know what I'm going to go do. I think a little bit of fishing. Probably some small game hunting. So, just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in every video. I love you guys. We're real close to hitting that 2,000 mark. Hopefully within the next month and a half we hit that. That was my goal for the year, to hit 2,000. So please like the crap out of this. Share it with your buddies. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.